Today I'm going to take you through a short tutorial on how to back up your PS2 BIOS for use on a PS2 emulator. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is head on over to PCSX2.net and scroll over to their download section and then we're going to head down to Tools and this is where we're going to find our BIOS dumper. It's in an ELF format. Um, there is a ISO version as well if that is something you have, if you want to do swap disk instead of uh, running through Homebrew. So pick whichever one is going to work for you. Today I'm going to cover how to do just the uh, ELF file. So just go ahead and click on download. Once you get that downloaded, we're of course going to need to extract it. So of course I use 7-zip, so just go ahead and extract that. And you are given a folder that has a couple of files in it. So the file we're focusing on today is this dump bios dash mass elf. The other files are for more of a legacy thing. So that's the one we need. For this part, you are going to need a USB flash drive, obviously. So... Um, I'm using this Transcend uh, um, card reader. I've always had more luck with card readers on PS2 than I've had with actual USB thumb drives. So if you have one that you know works, you're good to go. Um, I know this guy works for me. It has for many years. Um, and it's even USB 3. So, I mean, obviously that works with the USB 1.1 that the PS2 uses. So... There we go. Once you find a flash drive that works for you, go ahead and uh, put it in your computer and copy over the biasdump.mass.elf. And now we're going to go ahead and get it hooked into our PS2. So on the PS2, you do need it to be modded, of course, um, to run ELF files that could look like free MC boots, uh, free HD boots, what I've got, or you have a mod chip that can just run ELF files, something like that. So go ahead and open your preferred ELF launching method. I use ulaunch ELF running off of my internal hard drive. So I'm going to scroll over to its file browser by pressing the circle button. And I'm going to scroll down to mass, which will read from the USB drives. And I'm going to launch dump BIOS. Once it launches, it's going to dump all of the BIOS and ROM files that it needs to use in PCSX2 automatically, so just sit back. The whole process takes about three and a half minutes. I have it sped up in this video just to show you the whole process, uh, so just be patient. It does take just a couple of minutes, but once it is completed, you are able to just turn off the PS2, and then we're going to go ahead and insert our USB drive back into our computer, and we are greeted with three to five files, just depending on the age of your BIOS. So go ahead and uh, select these now. These are what we're going to put in our PCSX2 BIOS folder. So I'm going to pull over a new installation folder of PCSX2. This has never been run yet. It is set to portable. So everything is going to run within the folder instead of going into your user directory. So most of you are familiar with the PCSX2 beginning. This is where it would ask you to locate your BIOS files. See, we have it empty. It created this BIOS folder. So I'm going to take all of these files, put it in here. I'm now done with this folder. We're going to go ahead and refresh the list. And there is our newly dumped BIOS ready to be used in PCSX2. And just to test it out, you can select no disk um, DVD menu, and then you can hit run BIOS. And as you can see, it is good to go. Emulation really is one of the greatest tools we have for preserving these classic games and systems, but even though people have the means of doing things legally, they usually just tend to download this stuff off the internet. So hopefully these tutorials um, can show you guys how, to, how easy this stuff can be just to do legit, rather than resorting to the illegal side of emulation. Emulation gets a lot of bad rep just because a lot of people go about it illegally. Um, but again, I just love emulation. I love doing it legally, obviously. It is, again, a wonderful tool for preservation, keeping these games accessible, playable, um, honestly making them better than they ever could have been originally um, through use of like upscaling and all that. But anyway, thank you so much again for watching today's tutorial. Uh, Viewership on the channel has gone up so much in the last couple of months. I can't thank you all enough for that. Um, 
thank you all for all the comments, all the questions, all of the uh, views, the shares, the likes, the dislikes. Like, thank you all so very much for that. Um, so you guys know the drill. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, love answering them for you. And if anyone is interested in helping this channel grow, always make sure to hit that share button, that sub button. Thank you all again so much. I can't thank you all enough. Um, so anyway, have a wonderful night. We will see you all back next video.